जय श्री चैतन्य जय नित्यानंद जय द्वैत चंद्र जय गौर भक्त वृंद लास्ट वॉस वर्स नंबर नाइन ट्रांसलेशन कालिदास एट रेमनेंस ऑफ फूड ऑफ एज मेनी वैष्णवास एस दे वर इन बंगाल ब्राह्मण वैष्णव यथ छोट बर हय उत्तम वस्तु बेथ He would go to all the Vaishnavas born in Brahmana families, be they neophyte or advanced devotees, and present them gifts of first-class edibles. Tandra thani shesha patra layena magia khana paya thabe rahe lukana. He would beg remnants of food from such Vaishnavas, and if he did not receive any, he would hide. Bojana karile patra felana yaya, lukana se patra ni chati kaya. After the Vaishnavas finished eating they would throw away their dishes or leaves and Kalidas would come out of hiding take the leaves and lick up the remnant Shudra Vaishnava ragare ya ya betalana e mata tandra uchishta kaya lukana He would also take gifts to the homes of Vaishnavas born in Shudra families then he would hide and eat the remnants of food they threw away in this manner Buni mali jati Vaishnava jadu tandra nama amra phala lana teno gela tandra stana There was a great Vaishnava named Jarutaku who belonged to the Bunimali caste. Kalidas went to his home taking mangoes with him. Amra beta diya tandra charana vandila tandra patni re tabe namaskara kaila. Kalidas presented the mangoes to Jadu Thakur and offered him respectful obeisances then he also offered respectful obeisances to the Thakur's wife Patni sahita teno achena vasiya bahu sammana kaila Kalidas ere dekhiya When Kalidas went to Jarutaku he saw that saintly person sitting with his wife as soon as Jarutaku saw Kalidas he likewise offered his respectful obeisances unto him Ishtagushti kataksana kari tandra sane Jarutaku ra kae tandre madura vachane After a discussion for some time with Kalidas, Jadutaku said something to him in sweet words. Ami nicha jati tumi atita sarvotama kon prakar karimu ami tomara sevana. I belong to a low caste and you are a very respectable guest how shall i serve you Agya deya brahmana gare analana diye tan tumi prasada pao thabe ami jie If you will permit me i shall send some food to a brahmana's house and there you may take prasad if you do so i shall then live very comfortably Kalidasa koe takura kripa kara more tomara darshana inu mui patita pamare Kalidas replied my dear sir please bestow your mercy upon me i have come to see you although i am very fallen and sinful
ಪವಿತ್ರ ಇನು ಮುಯಿ ಪೈನು ದರ್ಶನ ಕೃತಾರ್ಥ ಇನು ಮೋರ ಸಫಲ ಜೀವನ simply by seeing you i have become purified i am very obligated to you for my life is now successful ekavan sahaya yadi kripa kori kara pada raja deya pada mora mate dara My dear sir I have one desire please be merciful to me by kindly placing your feet upon my head so that the dust on your feet may touch it Takura koe ai chevat kaite na yuyaya ami nicha jati tumi susad janaraya Jadu Thakur replied, It does not befit you to ask this of me. I belong to a very low caste family, whereas you are a respectable rich gentleman. Thave Kali Dasa Shloka Pari Shunaila Shuni Jadu Thakur Era Bada Sukha Haila Kalidasa then recited some verses which Jadu Thakur was very happy to hear. Name Bhaktas Chaturvedi Mat Bhakta Svapachaha Priya Thasmai Deyang Tathograyam Satcha Pujyo Yathahi Aham Even though one is a very learned scholar in Sanskrit literature if he is not engaged in pure devotional service he is not accepted as my devotee but if someone born in a family of dog eaters is a pure devotee with no motives for enjoyment through fruitive activity or mental speculation he is very dear to me All respect should be given to him and whatever he offers should be accepted for such devotees are indeed as worshipable as I am Viprat dvishad guna yuthat aravinda nabha padaravinda vimukha shvapacham varishtam manyitat arpitamano varsane hitartha pranang punati sakulam natu guri manaha A person may be born in a brahmana family and have all 12 brahmanical qualities but if in spite of being qualified he is not devoted to the lotus feet of lord krishna who has a navel shaped like a lotus he is not as good as a chandala who has dedicated his mind words activities wealth and life to the service of the lord Simply to take birth in a Brahmana family or to have Brahminical qualities is not sufficient. One must become a pure devotee of the Lord. If a Shvapacha or Chandala is a devotee, he delivers not only himself but his whole family. Whereas a Brahmana who is not a devotee but simply has Brahminical qualifications cannot even purify himself, not to speak of his family. Aho bata shva pacho to gari ayan yaj jiva gre vartate nama tupyam te pustapas te juhu vuhu sas nur arya brahmanu chur nama grinanti yete.
My dear Lord, anyone who always keeps your holy name on his tongue is greater than an initiated Brahmana, although he may be born in a family of dog eaters, and therefore by material calculations be the lowest of men, he is glorious nevertheless. That is the wonderful power of chanting the holy name of the Lord. One who chants the holy name is understood to have performed all kinds of austerities. He has studied all the Vedas. He has performed all the great sacrifices mentioned in the Vedas. He has already taken his baths in all the holy places of pilgrimage. And it is he who is actually the Aryan.